This lesson deals with supplemental problem 411. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 12. Given the circuit in the yellow box, can you develop a model for it? In other words, could we substitute an equivalent circuit for this using the components of our course? We've got an output terminal here, voltage V out, and we've got a set of input terminals with a current source applied to the input. Now I have feedback around the op amp, so let's assume that the feedback is stable, and that's going to force the voltage across the terminals of the op amp to be driven to zero. Now there's also no current going into the ideal op amp because the resistance is very high. So the current that's coming in here, I sub S, all of it has to go into the feedback resistor, back through the controlled source, back to ground, really back through the power supply. So the output voltage here, the rise in voltage, is equal to minus RF times IS plus zero. So the voltage here is fixed. Because this is a voltage control voltage source, again, zero times infinity, you can put any load you want here, except a short circuit, and you'll have the same voltage. So there is no effective output resistance. So the voltage is equal to minus RF times I sub S. Now, because there's zero voltage here, this current source sees zero volts back to ground. We could model that with a short circuit. The current comes in, eventually goes back to ground to the power supply in our model. In the actual circuit, it goes back this way. But we create the same effect at the input terminal and at the output terminal. If you look at this, this is actually our definition of a current controlled voltage source. This is also called a current to voltage converter. And this is supplemental problem 411.